Hey, uh, episode Troll left in a day in here. Uh, this show is a continuous story that the NPCs are attempting to stray from. So, if you are uh, skipping episodes, uh, uh, there may be some details that are quite confusing. Uh, management uh, uh, recommends you listen to the show in order so things don't get lost or uh, uh, out of context. But if you thrive on chaos, you do you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if, you, if you're driving, have your imps set the scry to uh, D&D. Thanks for summoning the show for your entertainment. <laughs> Last time on the Necromantic Empire. All right, so what's the plan, Daddy? <laughs> uh, I'm going to play around with this till I can find a more masculine fit in the elf thing, and okay. then maybe not have someone kick me in the throat. That was a bad decision on my part. Because <laughs> right. now my rib hurts really well, bad. Well, here, here, here. Why don't you just swallow this ring, okay? And it'll make your voice, like, like higher pitched. Do I need to go higher pitched? Yeah, to be a girl. No, 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 don't do it. Don't, nope. Yeah. No. I, I try to show it down the throat. It's probably going to be one of those uh, make do you smaller it. rings. So mm -hmm. don't, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or it'll make me invisible, so it totally doesn't make anything else happen. Yeah. Right. Make you last longer in bed. Could do that, too. Wrong ring. Wrong oh. end, I think. A claimer. We are adults and use adult language, which has ironically not matured. We will have and discuss adult situations. Whether this is offensive is all on you. Welcome to the Necromantic Empire, Ariola's Vacation. Follow along as the NPCs are on a savage world vacation in the kingdom next door. They finally get to taste what it's like to be a PC in the module of the Necromantic Empire. Will they try to enjoy their vacation? Are they ready for what awaits them? Or will they do their vaguely defined job of spying on the kingdom of morally questionable wizards? You all wake up to the eight tenets of Ariolus. These laws guide us all. One. Ariolus first. Oh, Two. It's too early for follow this. Follow the desires of your superiors. Uh, three. Can you turn your scry down? Keep the mana oh pure. My God. Four. Why are you doing do this? not rise above your station. This is so annoying. Five. Do not uh, slander your superiors. Six. Oh no. Money decides the value oh, of all things. Oh, it's Seven. Daddy. Magic it's is worthy. Uh, we're no being race shall usurp the primacy of Elvish kind. All laws are derived from the eight tenets. Be sure to know your tenets. Ignorance of the law is unjustified. As soon as it's over, you find yourself standing in line for your ride, your dungeon, your thing. Wow, we don't even have to walk to this. We're just here. Hey, I got something for you. Oh, what's this? The, the needle bomb. Excellent. That's what I was working on. That's why I almost cut the hotel room on fire. Is there anybody else in the queue with us, or is it like we just stand in like an open void until... No, you're actually in. in line with a whole bunch of other people, and right in front of you, you see what looks like two heavily armored knights, uh, warriors. One of them's wearing a blue armor, one's wearing red armor, and their face plates are kind of this weird gold, and they're holding these weird boxy things in their hands. Behind you, you have what looks like uh, your your typical uh, uh, wizard, fighter, rogue, barbarian, bard, archer behind you, mm. ranger, and behind that you see what looks like uh, several hobbits and a really tall humanoid thing. And it, as the line keeps going further, further, you see all sorts of different types of of uh, groups. Wow, we're, this is kind of crazy. I didn't get a good look the last time we did. We kept skipping time, but how long does this line go for? Like, it, I genuinely can't see the end. You hear behind you, it's like, oh, uh, sir, uh, this, this can take uh, up to uh, uh, two hours, depending on uh, which door you choose. So, yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. Which door to choose? Well, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Door three. Uh, no, don't say anything yet. Bad creeth. Skenante nun. No. Navitas. Qui via scry tm estas commun. Scanning now. We see your scry tm is set to common. You even get dogs in line and all yeah. sorts of other things. Do I see any rat folk in life? Yes. You, you just see a few. Yes. Wow, this is, cr this is so weird. 
make sure I'm not wearing the hat of disguise still from the night long of staring in the uh, in the mirror. No, you, you, you have it, but it's not on. Okay. Thank you for choosing Aurealis Octoplano for your vacation. Before departing on any adventure, please conjure the correct imp to your scry, TM. Failure to have the corresponding imp to your designation is strictly prohibited per the eight tenets. I think we're going to... Please present your ticket to the check-in scry, TM. Yeah, I think we're going to do this the easy way first, everyone. We're going to go through the first door this time. Yeah. Number one. Three. One. Three. Wait, before we do, I pull out scry and download the correct imp. Yeah, I'm getting imp number one. So are you. I tap your ear. Mm. You realize it's not the it's not the imp they're actually telling you to, to for the scry the or what door. Um, let me play that again really quickly. Thank you for choosing Aurealis Octoplano for your vacation. Before departing on any adventure, please conjure the correct imp to your scry, TM. Failure to have the corresponding imp to your designation is strictly prohibited per the eight tenets. I thought we downloaded this well, already. Please present your ticket to the check-in scry, TM. Person behind you is like, oh, well, if you, uh, uh, is this your first time here? Or you were Second. Oh, this yeah. is day two for you? Yeah, you, you should have already the, the, the proper scry, which will basically translate the RLS language and everything else to you, uh, so that you everything comes to you in the right language. Oh, yeah. hey, thanks. Oh, okay. Do you come, uh, come to the Arealis often? Uh, no, this is day six for me. Uh, this is my first time here, and uh, uh, I'm ready to go home. I'd say uh, it's a, uh, it's a little um, different here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I never knew a vacation could be so strict. Mm-hmm. Are you a necromantic empire or a uh, outlying I, region? I, no, I, I, I live in the necromantic empire. Actually, uh, one of the small villages, uh, we run a small shop there where we sell all sorts of goods. Uh, your typical basics, whatever the uh, campers and, and stuff need when they're in the middle of a uh, raider's folly. Oh, you're in Raider's Volley. Yeah, yeah. What's the store? Oh, it's just uh, Papa's. It's because my Papa runs it. I know, not very original. I just said, but uh, yeah, uh, we, we, it's an eatery. It's an inn, uh, kind of a general goods. Uh, we have a blacksmith that does repairs, you know, all sorts of things. You know, I think I actually got this armor from that blacksmith. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice stuff. Oh. Hey, uh, I'm just going to ask a real quick question. I don't think it's anything bad, but you, uh... You hearing anything from there in the six days you've been here? No. I can't even call my, my, my family. It's, like I said, it's really strict here. I, they can call me, but I can't call them. As long as you're hearing something, that makes me feel a little better. Mm. Oh, okay. I crawl up and go, it sucks here, doesn't it? Um, I'd rather go home, if that tells you anything. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we're here for another, like, six days after today. It's going to be a while. Oh. So, okay. how'd you make it this long? I've died so many times. I haven't even made it through one one dungeon yet. And I'm almost out of, of tokens. And if, you don't, if, you, if you're there for more than eight hours, it's, 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 it's... It's okay, Tommy. It's okay. You don't have to say it. Like... <laughs> Yeah, we're just getting in line. We're going to do what we got to do. I'm going to run, and we're going to make it. We're going to make it this time. We're going to make it. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. Got, you got this. Yeah, you can do it. Yeah. I'm going to get pumped. I, I am pumped. I hand yeah. him one of my needle bombs. How many of those did you make last night? What? 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 No. What, is, what, what, what is this? It's a, a special artifact that our, our friend Grey Matter here makes. They're bombs uh-huh. filled with disposable needles and sharp things. Oh. Little little taste of home right there, you know? <laughs> you should sell these. <laughs> I was thinking about it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, here, uh, I, I have something for you. It, it, it's, it's just a, a, it's a book, but I can't use it. You might be able to. Okay. Do, do you have any metal by chance? Nothing I want to part with. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, look, the, treasure's treasure. You know the rules, all it, right? It's a okay, book fair. of melee, okay? It's what it's called. So it says on the, on the co- co- cover here, but you can't read it. It's Book of Melee. Book of Melee. You can't yeah. read it? Well, can you can you read Ariel, R- Ariel's language? No, but okay, this you, can. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, if that can, that, that can decipher it for you, then. Uh, it's supposed to help you learn how to fight and, and, and give you bonuses. But we find if, if you just throw it at the target, it does the fighting kind of for you. Just... Yeah. 
oh man, this is. But only only uh, magic users, uh, like artificers, wizards, oh, stuff. I, I take it then. Oh yeah, take maybe it. I can make copies of this book and they like five for no, for me. No, no, you make you make a copy. Uh, um, it'll probably do what your needle bomb does. Oh, okay. Yeah, worth a try. That's okay. I know you have the attention span to tinker on this stuff for hours at a time, but I also know that you fall asleep after trying to write down one paragraph. So I think we should be good. At least I'll like wave my scry over it to see if it like shows anything it different. Actu- it actually ch- translates to Book of Melee. <sighs> This is so cool. It's yeah. like a hidden picture thing. Yeah. Guys, look at this. You get a little little flashing icon on your phone. Oh, that's neat. All right. Well, that's for you. Yeah, I will take it. Begin to start reading it. <laughs> uh, well, you open it up and you can't read it because you don't have that language. Yeah, I'll get, oh. I'm hoping I'll learn. <laughs> just use your scry over it. Yeah. I was literally I mean, just yeah. doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you do? Yeah. All right. So same thing. The words start coming up. It talks about different fighting techniques, styles, and everything. And it's just page after page. And then a little icon starts flashing on your uh, scry screen. Ooh. I touch it. It opens it up and it says, <laughs> you are viewing the Book of Melee. Instruction manual. Download here. Ooh. Download. All right. This will take five hours. Okay. For express download, please add three ninety nine to your total. Hey, Imp. Hey, what? Can, can I can I bribe you to download faster? Sure. Yeah. Hang yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. That sounds suspiciously like it won't. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, here's some like like um brownie cake thing. <gasps> Ooh, brownie cake thing. I'm gonna yeah. take this all myself. None of the other Imps can get this. <laughs> See, look, now instead of five hours, it'll be four hours and 50 minutes. It's working then. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Okay. I I grab some of Hogan's coffee because he always has some. I pour it in there and make it go faster. It's always my coffee. How far in the line? How far has the line advanced? Uh <laughs> You feel like you've moved probably about, like, 100 yards. You're, oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's pretty constant, but you don't see any end coming. If I get the chance, we're going into door three first. Welcome to your <laughs> new adventure. This ride has been especially designed for you. All adventures should take no more than eight hours. Failure to complete the adventure within the designated time is against the eight tenants. All right, well, don't do, don't you... Create? Nope, stay All here. adventures are designed door with one. you in mind. Door one. Please check your ticket to verify you are in the correct adventure. Did we grab his leash and harness by chance? We can try to hold him down. We've never manner. had a leash and harness for Kreeth. You know this. You see yourself getting closer to the actual check-in scribe. <laughs> <laughs> you, qual- you come up to it and... Uh, your ticket is designated ZZRF. This is a basic package. Would you like to upgrade to? ZZAA for 100 gold pieces each. ZZ88 for 150 gold pieces each. ZZ44 for 250 gold pieces each. ZZ22 for 400 gold pieces each. ZZ00 for 500 gold pieces each. GG00 for 1,000 gold pieces each. FF00 for 1,500 gold pieces each. And EE00 for 5,000 gold pieces each. Some packages may not be available to you. We could almost could afford, afford those, yeah. Mm-hmm. I know we could almost afford some of those. In fact, we could. We could afford most of those Sorry, right now. Sorry, you do not qualify for that package. And that's Please what I try thought. again. Yeah, how about any of them that aren't above the bottom tier? You didn't, you didn't, like, even select anything that it kicked you out. Yeah, it tried to select for us and then still said no. I think it just has to do with the races. Please choose from any of these eight doors. Be Three. aware that you are not allowed Three. to choose the same door Three. twice. Number one. Three. One. One. Ever. One. 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 I, I try two. To push, I don't try to push two. That's quick. <laughs> Thank you. Please make sure you record your new ticket designation. Arialis is not responsible for lost or forgotten ticket designations. Down door Failure two. to do so will result in loss of any ticket upgrades. Keep track of your life tokens. This adventure recommends... Two life tokens. All right, I guess we're going to door two. 
Three. Yeah. I was about to say, who, who pushed who Half pushed the party first. pushed for two, so we have, yeah. Okay. Uh, you step into a circular room, 46 feet in diameter. Let's see if I remember what this one is. This is Elvis. Welcome to door two. You have a 32 minute wait from this point. Turning back is not an option. Don't oh. forget to visit the gift shop at the end of this adventure. Well, we'll be here for a little bit. See if there's a snack table. You remember something about being able to order food in. Oh, you yeah, have a 32-minute wait from this point. Turning back is not an option. Don't forget to visit the gift shop at the end of this adventure. Hey, Rick Did you pizza? know that you can have O-O spelled Ooh, out? Oh, I love pizza. Dice heads, diaruri, AOE gods, jaruri magol hail, delivered while you wait. I'm going to Just going conjure to the A-O-O-S imp and place your order. Delivery will arrive through your scry TM for a nominal fee. Oh, but how much is the fee, though? I bet you it's a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. It's all a lot here. It's probably like a hundred gold for a personal or something. I don't know. I know a quarter one order. Uh, hang on, Hogan's going to order a hoagie from Dice Heads. Anybody else want anything? So speak now or forever be hungry. I want a hoagie. Hoagie? Uh, uh. I want a corpse. I mean, you might be able to eat somebody when we get in. Six okay. juice. Have you checked the menu? Huh? Uh-huh. Is there corpse on the menu for dice heads? The imp comes up. Mm, okay, let's see. Uh, you go one corpse. What type? Oh shit, cookie. What corpse do you want? Wait. Wow. You get to pick and not just eat what comes at you. Uh, there is limited. We don't this have fancy. that much. But yeah, I mean, uh, fairly simple. You can't say I want a dragon because you know I don't. That can't make it there. You know, that, that to like kill you in the room even if it's dead. So. Mm, oh, okay. Uh, what's on special? What's what's the what's the seasonal delight? Uh, dwarves currently, dwarves. Oh. Oh, that is racist as shit. Let's order one. <laughs> <laughs> one dwarf, please. All right. Uh, and what else? Uh, I need two hoagies, just normal style, and then six pierogies. Can I also get a dessert, d- dessert dwarf? Uh. <sighs> Like, like a, fr- a frozen dwarf corpse is what I would imagine it would be. A dwarfsicle? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that just looks like a dwarf hand on a popsicle stick. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, that sounds good. How about a foot? Can I get a frozen dwarf foot on a, you know? Well, do you want the whole body or just a foot? I think just a foot. Okay, that brings it back down to uh, uh, 750 for the whole order. Yeah, okay, here you go. Oh, I'm just, yeah, all right. It'll be here in a few minutes. Do the uh, pierogies... Have, have, have elf in them because I'm allergic to elf. No, okay. that, that's that's off the menu. Okay, okay. <laughs> While you're waiting for your food, the you... show is simulcast in common. You are tuned into a Rayolos Eight News. So we appreciate you. There I was on the public salts, and oh. these kobolds were everywhere. I mean, I've got scales on me. <sighs> oh. Oh my I'm god! Such a nice jacket. Yeah, what I hope they turn the lights. Show, <laughs> they should. I mean, this. You know how much this thing costs yeah, me? They try to turn. Probably off. more than the cobalt. <laughs> <laughs> Your dry cleaner. That is true. Yes, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, this could be uh, but uh, on that note, uh, there's a uh, issue with the uh, lycanthropes. Uh, really? Down in the uh, ZZ sector, no. they've been oh, yeah. taking over. Yes. <sighs> Some skunks and various other types. There was even. There was even a corgi. No. That's right. Oh my god. You should might as well call that hairball central. I it is becoming the corgi. that way. I mean, I, I, we I, could just I, eradicate I, I, it. You should you know, utilize your skunk you know, more it's, often. It's such a war torn area right now. Yeah. I'd really hate to destabilize it again. True, true. But luckily we have the red caps down there. <gasps> oh yes. yes. Bless them. Mm-hmm. Yes, we have that wonderful hashtag thin blessed, red line taking pure. care of us. We're so proud. I know. Gotta it's re- wonderful. Pay your respects. And that's long enough. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I would like to thank everybody here. Oh, we are at Rescue Alta oh, uh, We're just encouraging just everyone to go out and rescue oh. yourself. A nice, oh. wonderful pet. I don't care. We have wonderful tabaxis <laughs> here of all types. <laughs> yeah, be sure to pick one with your favorite coat and demeanor. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I personally was going to get one that had a you know nice little splotchy pattern, but they didn't have one, so I left. Oh. <laughs> well, luckily, we have cute. three. Oh, we, and they're shaking. wonderful. We have Stop one it. All gray. No. And we have uh, a, a cute little... But eh, so- I won't settle. Has to but be just the right thing. Just the right one. Yep. Yeah. If I'm going to bless this animal in my home, it's got to be yes, the right one. Yes. That's right. Have you found one today? Trinity Tinsley. Trinity Tinsley. Oh, oh, isn't I'm that so proud. Yes. <laughs> 
fits perfectly in my handbag. Oh. Try to tinsley. Turn, turn that frown upside down. Oh, no. It's a smile for us. It's a little star pucker. That's great. Mm-hmm. Baby. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, any, anything you'd like to say about your, uh, yeah. your tabaxis yeah. or anything? Adopt, don't chop. That's yeah. right. And speaking of the chop, <laughs> spay and neuter your tabaxis Hold today. Your ears, Hold your ears. That's right. All pets should be spayed and neutered. It, Very it important. Keeps, it keeps the area pets. pure. That's right. Hashtag blessed, hashtag pure. Well, that's it for today. Yes, thank you, everybody. Pure, thank you. One last shout out to the Rescue All Tabaxis. Thank you for having us here today. Can yes, I get a pet Tabaxi? You so your successes. Uh, I'm that? Jill Jean Bontier. McKaysley Valencia. And I'm Ethan. And this is Vore at Four. We'll see you later. We. <laughs> <laughs> This has been another installment of Voices Did they of the say War? I was more interested in the, the lycanthrope to uprising in the, have a great in the area. Or not. Uh, yeah, we were part of that. We were all part of that. Speaking of which, remind me to have your skunk spray um, in this bottle later today. You know, you could just get him to do it. It literally lives in my bag. It eats my rations. Oh, yeah. Well, will you do that real quick? Just reach in and grab. Just get yourself a squeeze. All right. Come here. Uh, oh, perfect. You didn't, you didn't close it up. And now every... I'm sorry. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm just... I'm used to it. A few minutes later. <laughs> Is it us without smelling like skunk? Your, your uh, food shows up. Sweet. You are awesome. eight minutes away from your next adventure. Why not order a Profunda Prado de Starapico from Dysense? Free delivery with promo code Via Estas Niño Alia Os Cachundo. Offer won't last. Oh. I put a piece of my dwarf, though, in a vial and put it in my jacket for later. They said free. Can we get one of those? Free delivery. I heard free. Yeah, it's just they, they yeah. just deliver for one? free. Now, well... We could get a delivery guy. I mean, it depends yeah, on what the tabaxi was when we adopt them. <laughs> really, we should we should start consider. There's there's I've, I've got ideas in my head to consider now. Maybe I can have a date in this dungeon and not try and set up after the dungeon. Does it count as slaying the monster if you lay the monster? Slay. Maybe. I don't know, we should find out. I finished my pierogies. If they haven't started on their hoagies, I am. Oh, yeah, no, I'm eating mine. <laughs> oh, uh, no, that's my hoagie. I gotta finish the foot first. I have, I've learned, oh, you gotta remember, when you live with him in the same room, you have to eat your food before he knows you have it. Buy more tokens, or I will find you again. Is that at us, or do you think that's just auto real? Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like that's Nigel, but I know it's not Nigel. How many health tokens do we have? I still have, uh... I buy two. Seven. I have seven. I think I also have seven. Mm-hmm. We yeah, should all still have eight, yeah. seven tokens. As I was say, I don't think we used any yet. No. No, yeah, we have. One. Some people have died. Oh, yeah, we did. I used one, you used one. All right. Uh, you're looking around, and on the door in front of you, you see... A sign that says, and it's very small, but you get closer to it, it says, Traps by Grimm. Hey! Holy shit, they have Traps by Grimm here! Grimm's Traps, is that like Grimm's Fairy Tales? Is this going to be one of those kiddie rides? What's a fairy tale? I don't think there's a difference between a kiddie ride and an adulting ride. Is it adulting? Do fairies chase their tails too? I, I believe yeah. some do, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Time seems to be going faster without me having to talk about... Don't do it. No, 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 no. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You Look. are four minutes from swinging some sword and minutes. flinging some fireballs. Plenty of time to get some oh, upgraded equipment from Jerry Picard. Order now and get 10% off. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think if people die faster ahead of us, the line moves faster. Sweet. <laughs> but maybe they don't have enough tokens. Ooh. Is that only two were necessary for this? <laughs> Can we kill the people in line in front of us? I don't You're think fine. that's part of the rules. We're by ourselves now in the circular room. No. Like, circular with the yeah. game and the stuff. Yeah, we're just stuck in, like, our own personal adventure. waiting Please purgatory. Oh. Your adventure. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh my God. The door is fully open. Maybe it's not. Remember, adventure. You are on your own. Shut Once you cross the threshold to adventure. Uh, it's a Make sure you have your life. I wish we could hit, like, fast forward. Oh, I know how to do that. No, I won't. Sorry.
Thank you. Appreciate it. Look, you keep that to a minimum. I'll try and get you as much gold as possible to lay you in, all right? All right. The doors start put, opening. I immediately go through. I was going to say I put my nose right to the door so that when it starts opening, I rush through as fast as I can. I'm going to let him learn okay. a lesson here. So he runs and disappears. Uh, the rest of you see this kind of gray fog come through. The walls are barely lit, almost if it's just moonlight. And it goes on for quite a distance. Meanwhile, Kreef runs and runs and runs. I'm going to slowly kind of make my way in with the bluter knife out in front, trying to light the way a little bit. Yeah, you, you think you can see about 24-ish feet in front of you as far as everything is, but it's a long hallway. Kreef! Where are you? I am coming. You're in this hallway. The fog doesn't seem to change. It does feel like there's moonlight hitting you, but you look up and it's just a kind of dark, maybe black ceiling, no moon. You don't know where the light's coming from. I gotta say, this is kind of cool, guys. It's like this is, this is more homely to me. Like, I feel comfortable here. God, I really am a monster. All right. Um, I'm sorry, Ramen, but it's true. We're not good. We are terrible, evil creatures. We are good for And you will have to are. learn to appreciate this. Yeah. Because we appreciate you. Yeah, because we do. We appreciate... Yeah, that made you sadder. Okay. Here, let's give you the gray matter for a second. Ah, uh, come here, my greatest creation. I still argue the knife bomb's the better creation. What? No, look... Completely free is creep at any responsibility. Look at this thing, and I squirt, I squirt right up. There. Right, you're, you're free and clear now. Yeah, you don't have to pay dog support or nothing. Right. You're free. 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 Like a wart now. Come on, show. What are we gonna <laughs> Don't stop. Because I'm free. He's staring at me. Do you think that we're like that we're gonna they're gonna be able to get rid of our smell when we get back to town? Yeah, like they didn't get rid of the vanilla. Smell. What smell? I mean fair. <laughs> the, again, smell. fair. Anyway, I'm guys, let's see uh Greek, why'd you stop anyway, Greek? Door. Ah, my no old thumbs. <laughs> no thumbs. All right, well, let's get up there and take a peek then, huh? Yep, let's get up. <laughs> we only have eight hours to get through this, and Lord knows how long this could actually take all of us. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Necromantic Empire TM. Our cast is Alex Fort as Nigel Gambitar, Blue Jackson as Leroy Jenkins, Jeremiah Freeman as Kreef, Rapunzel the Lettuce as Cookie, Robin Fry as Ram Man, Sam Sturgeon as Hogan Savage, Victoria Fish as Grey Matter, your district manager is John Simon. Additional voices by Kate Maxwell and Rachel Kearns. Music by Socially Awkward in 400 feet. Take a left turn into Misery Drive. Find them on SoundCloud by searching Socially Awkward. Mid-2000s experimental music, Chicago Bulls hat. He can be found at WSN Podcast on Twitter. Artwork by Joshua Allen. Find more of his work on Instagram at Faceless Cow. You can reach us at the Necromantic Empire at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you'd like to help support the show, check out our Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash time of your half-life. This has been the Radioactive Shack production. This will probably all be cut. Doodly doo doo doo. Greeting adventurers! It's your favorite undead bard, Cat from the Storyteller's Tavern. TST is a character driven tabletop role playing podcast with a chaotic neutral party. Right now, we're diving into the classic dungeon crawl, The Sunless Citadel. Join us for adventure, mayhem, the power of friendship, and a lot of character trauma. You can find The Storyteller's Tavern on your favorite podcasting apps. We post episodes every Thursday at 12 p.m. EST. Now, take this bardic inspiration for your next adventure.